these are the following requirements for this project. So in making a paper 3D geometrical shape, you will need a special kind of paper. The ones that are thick and durable are the best ones. The this is one of the examples in more one of the more common brands. It's called Centennial. Centennial. As long as it's paperboard, you're fine. Or you could choose something better than Centennial. Yet it's more expensive, but it's it is better. Or if you don't have both of them, you could just use the Oslo paper. It's good, but it's not as good as the special papers, but it'll have to do. The only sa that downside is that Oslo paper is larger than the paperboard, which is bigger than the letter size. So in order to cut it into a letter size, what you need to do is to fasten both of the papers using a stapler in both of, in corners, only two of the corners, and get a letter size paper board and align it on the out, on the corner without the staple. And then get a pencil and trace the lines. After tracing the after tracing the paperboard, get your ruler and an exacto knife or box cutter. And align the ruler to the lines. Make sure you have something beneath the the paper you're going to cut so you won't damage the table. Get your ruler and align it to the line. Use your exacto knife or box cutter in order to cut the paper. Be careful not to not to be faulty. And do it on the other side as well. Then you will get a letter sized Oslo paper. As you can see, it's as big as the paper board. Now you could use it for printing. Now I will show you on how to choose a shape. So go to this website Corta Saltis and choose a shape and go to the PDF of the shape. Now you will be go to the PDF of the shape and there you can print the shape. Press Ctrl P and a little pop up will show a, pop a printing window. So you could customize this if you want to, but for now we won't customize it and do it as is. And press the print button. Now we will be looking at uh now we will be looking at how it prints. Now we have the paper templates yet ready. Now go get your exacto knife or scissors and then cut the template. Cut the edges. When you're done, pop the temp pop the shape out. 
and you will get this kind of shape afterwards. Trim the edges after you cut the shape. And you, the next shapes are these ones, the from 2 to 6 shape papers number 2 to 6, you're going to do the same thing, thing as the first one and pop them out. Also trim the edges if you want to. And do it also for number 3 and all of them. And also remember to label since labeling is important for this. And as you can see there's a number on the paper and label your shape on the back of it uh, as the number you see. And do it as to the until to the last part of the of the template. There we go, we have the shapes ready. Now, there's something on the way. You must cut that specific line to make a slot to make for you in order for you to fold the shape. Now it's time to fold the shapes. After folding the shape, you should fold all of the shapes before you glue them together. Now we have all of the shapes folded. Now we will connect the shapes and this is the stuff that will go. Now you will see me have fun with the shapes, with the ball with the geometric thing. <laughs> 